child that should go in the cake. Oh, oh, he's gone. Uh, oh. Police Department, Sawyer speaking. Oh, uh, guess who? Mrs. Burns again? Walking. Everybody in this jail claims he's here by mistake. Mrs. Detective, have you got a cigar? Shut up! Yes, sir. Your wife started this. Could you bring me back a cup full of steak? <laughs> oh, hey, look, will you call my sponsor and tell him the commercial will be a little late this week? Anything else I can do for you? Yes, sir. If you arrest a baritone, would you put him in a cell? We'd like to sing a little harmony. I'm going over and talk to your wife just once more. You know, I've cracked every big case in this country. And if I can't crack this one, you got yourself a baritone. <laughs> Mrs. Burns, I've been on the force for 20 years. I've been in every kind of trouble that you could name. But today has been the worst day of my whole life. Oh, my goodness. And on top of all that, you have this murder to solve. <laughs> Mrs. Burns, you say that this man on the train told you he was going to kill his wife. Let's start at the beginning. All right. Uh, I was born in San Francisco, and my mother... Hold it, hold it. That's not the beginning I met. Well, that's the only beginning I ever had. I'll ask the questions. You just answer them. All right. Would you know this man if you ever saw him again? Oh, of course. Well, I remember people I saw when I was only four years old. Well, you've got a good memory for faces, then. Oh, of course I have. Um, I, um, I, I was, when I was four years old, I was, I was too short to see their faces, but I remember their knees. <laughs> well, that's 45 minutes, Yate. <laughs> Give it one more try. Mrs. Burns, exactly where were you when the man told you that he was going to kill his wife? You mean when he started to tell me or when he finished? What difference does it make? Ten miles. The train was going very fast. <laughs> oh, would you take a file to my husband? Goodbye. Do you remember me? Well, no, but I'll try to in a minute. And if I see the murder, I'll let you know, Mr. Sawyer. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, you were trying to remember who you are. Mrs. Burns, I was on the train with you, and you left your gloves. Here. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. I'm happy to return. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Very familiar. <laughs> oh, Detective Sawyer left his hat. Wait a minute. That man who was outside, that was Mr. Lindstrom. The man I was with on the train. Oh, he's the one who's killing his wife. <laughs> Oh, but, but this is Mrs. Burns again. When, when Detective Sawyer comes in, will you tell him that I made a terrible mistake? Oh, my. <laughs> Gracie and I will be back again next week. And, George, you know, I'm glad you're all out of that jail, but the way they run it is perfectly silly. Silly why? Well, with all those locked doors and, and those guards walking around with guns. Who want to break in there? <laughs> Say good night. Good night.
tonight's show were James Flavin as Detective Sawyer, John Bosper as Mr. Lindstrom, Robert Brayer as Major Cunningham, Peter Leeds as Mr. Garland, Ray Hike as the guard, Bob Johnson as the waiter. The Burns and Allen Show was a film presentation. This is Harry Bonzel saying good night.